My grandpa smoked cigars until he died. When we sold his chair, the person we sold it to complained of tobacco stains on it. I looked into a mirror, seeing a scary face. I should have cleaned my husband's blood stains. My son Arthur got a job as a butcher. It was his perfect cover-up. The chocolatier received many complaints. He should have known people would have noticed the fleshy texture or the red liquid in the chocolate. As a kid, I used to run up the basement stairs looking behind me. This time, I looked the wrong way. My dad was looking at me with a morbid smile. I smiled as he said, it's time to leave for good, sweetheart. I'm happy that my brother will always be with me. I still wish he was breathing, though. I always felt that I was never alone. Then I saw one of my dolls blink. When I was seven, I told my mom I hate Kimberly's guts. My mom said, Shut up and eat what I feed you. She gazed horrified at her ex standing outside her house. She thought when she shot him, he was gone for good. Beethoven is an amazing artist. He has such relaxing music. But it's kind of unsettling when you hear it at home alone. I smiled softly at her as she lies sleeping in her bed. My smile faded as I realized what I was here to do. My dad jingled the keys to my new car. He couldn't stop his hands from shaking as he gaped at the mangled car. I shook my head, reminding myself that I was doing a good thing. Then I proceeded to bury her six feet under. I was listening to a pleasant ASMR video from my phone throughout the night. Turns out, my phone's battery was dead the entire time. I always felt fascinated by my neighbor's beautiful angel statue placed in their garden. My fascination went to fear when it started walking up to my house. We only ignored my dad because he'll never return to his grave if we don't. My rich girlfriend always gave me gifts. However, it got less sweet when a kid that always picked on me went missing. I used to have friends. I'm sad I killed them. I hear my name being called. I'm home alone. I'm in my bed watching YouTube, then the bathroom light comes on. I live alone. The dead are watching us now. That's the good news. My two brothers and my mom went out to the mall. My basement lights are off and the door is open. So how come there's a shadow down on the steps? I always felt like there was someone watching me at night, until I realized there was a face on my ceiling staring down at me. I am blind, and often people ask, why can't you have normal eyes? Well, I have normal eyes, lots of them, and soon I will have yours. I wait, and wait, and wait. But mommy's not getting up. Maybe I should have stopped daddy instead of helping him. What goes up doesn't always come back down. Sure, the stool fell down, but when does mommy? Blood-curdling screams filled the air. 
I smiled knowing that it's finally over. My eyes dart left and right. I still can't find the rest of my body. Vagabonds filled the streets. It looked like hunting season had finally started. I used to bite other children. Dad finally had enough and told my sister to get the pliers. No matter how much you beg and plead or cry, I will never love you. No matter how much I scream and bleed or sob, I still won't love you. They say if you see your reflection blink, you can visit the other side. Well, nobody told me how to get back. My mother doesn't let me go outside. She says there's a monster out there. Little does she know, the beast killing people is me, and I'm running out of prey. I told my mom the TV static moves. She only listened to me when I said it was moving outwards. Laura loved to crawl around, and I found it adorable. It only got unsettling when she crawled on the ceiling. Caitlin walked across the road. The drivers never see her body pass through their cars. The surgeon said that the heart transplant would be dangerous. It didn't help that the donor was fighting back. I could hear my newborn crying and ascended the stairs. I stopped three feet from her door, remembering the miscarriage. As I looked out the window, I saw my eight-year-old scrape her knee. I went to help her when she walked through the door saying, Thanks, Mommy. But my wife died during birth. I told my parents the trees were moving. They said we didn't have trees in the city. What have you done to me? Oh, don't worry about that. It's what I'm going to do that you should be afraid of. I can't decide. Life or death? Maybe you should choose. I want to live, she cried. Knowing someone was in my house with me was scary enough. Finding out all of the exits were sealed shut was even more terrifying. She lost her life, saving mine. Everyone thought she was a hero. I'm just glad the plan proceeded accordingly. I was driving along the highway at night when a pickup truck lined up with my car. I nearly crashed when I saw the vacant driver's seat. Gina could not walk, always stuttered when she talks. Gina smiled, straightened up her legs and back and said, Mark, Lewis, Cherry, and Dan will not walk or talk again. I rolled my eyes and pulled the hangnail off my finger. My eyes bulged when my skin from my hand began to peel off. The room was filled with gas. I screamed when someone lit a match. I can hear what I assume is screaming. The only problem with that is that I'm deaf. I used to love watching my son swing on his swing set. Now that he's gone, I feel like someone or something is taunting me. The chains on the rack clicked, and the crowd cheered at my performance. Due to the severe pain, I couldn't tell them it was real. Roses are red, violets are blue. Open your blinds, I can't see you. Your door is unlocked, so I'm coming in. 
There's nowhere to hide, so let the fun begin. I have clap-on lights, and they just turned on. The problem was, I was in my car when it happened. My reflection's brown hair bounced. I'm blonde, and I can't move. I have a doll that closes its eyes when it's lying down. It's blinking at me when it's standing up. I am extremely stoned out of my mind, but the Taco Bell near me is closed. <laughs>